Hello and welcome to a Tabletop Bellhop Cardboard Coat Check. I am Mo Tuzano, the Tabletop Bellhop, your cardboard concierge, answering your gaming and game night questions and striving to make everyone's gaming experience better. Tonight, the question we're answering is, what's in the box in regards to this small box game called Fairy Season? This is put out by Good Games Publishing and Long Pack Games. This is a non-collectible card game that I've Asked to check out, and I do have to thank um, Good Games Publishing for sending me a copy of this, because I think my kids are going to love it. My kids are into the fae and fairies and stuff like that. So, fairy season. It's fairy season. Order your goblin flunkies into the forest to catch fairies and shake out their fairy dust to make a wicked winter brew. Herd fairies into swamps and use goblins to trick and trap them. Lure in the mighty royal fairies to free their flighty fairy friends. Then catch them too. Catch the most fairies to win. This is a Trixie game for three to five players. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut the shrink on this. Sean will probably speed this up so you don't have to watch me do that. And then we're going to move the camera, zoom in, and you can see what you get in the box. So here we have these very other small box for fairy season. It's got some nice uh, UV lighting here. I don't know if you catch that on there on the one blue fairy as well as the, the label here. Um, here's a quick look at the back of the box. Just shows an example of a couple of the cards. So this is for ages 10 plus, 3 to 5 players, 20 minute play time. So despite the fact I said this is for my kids, this is not meant to be a kid's game specifically. So we start off, we've got a rule book. Seems fairly short. We'll flip through this kind of quickly. I see examples of all the different parts here. The rules of the hunt. Lots of examples, lots of full color pages here. Looks solid. I, got, I like the fact there's call outs on the edge here. More examples of play. There's rules for traps. We are looking at end game scoring. So we are at a total of 11 pages. That's 11 pages in the rule book for fairy season. Then we have two packs of cards and a rather thematic forest box insert double checking nothing under the insert just a cardboard insert taking a look at the cards they do have um, the nice pull tab to open but that takes too long so two stacks of cards it looks like they are in suits based on the various seasons. So we have the spring suit here. So we have spring fairy. And at the bottom it says draw two. We then have a number more spring fairies numbered all the way up to eight. Different numbers of each one. Not one to eight twice. So we have two full sets of spring fairies. Then we have summer fairies. Again, same thing, one to eight. It looks like twice. Five, six, seven, eight, one, two, the up. And this says draw one at the bottom of the summer fairy. I gotta say, I do dig that artwork. Got a buggy kind of look to that fairy. Then we have the autumn fairy, and this is gonna be split over back, both decks. So we have autumn fairy again, one through eight twice. So here is the autumn fairy, very cool looking leaf based fairy. Really digging the artwork here. And then the back just shows the, um, the fairy season logo and a forest scene. Then we have the Winter Fairy, which unfortunately I'm not going to be able to give you a close-up of because it's mostly blue. So it, green scale catch it, but here it is up to the other camera. It says Stash 1. Uh, what I do like, for people who have color blindness, there are symbols in addition to the colors. And the symbols are all different on each of these different suits. Uh, then we're gonna, we have the Fairy King, the Fairy Queen, the Fairy Prince, and the Fairy Princess. Uh, we'll see if these will come out because of the blue. So you can see the Fairy King, the Fairy Queen, the Fairy Princess, who's riding an owl. That is a really cool piece of art there. And, oh, sorry, the Fairy Prince. This would be the Fairy Princess. And then we have a number of trap cards with a whole bunch of fairies stuck in a trap. A greedy goblin, a party goblin, a spooky goblin, a thieving goblin, a robber goblin, a hunter goblin, a doppelgoblin, and a cheeky goblin. And then the same thing repeated twice. So two of everything again. 
So we'll show some of these off here. We have the Greedy Goblin, which says stash three cards from under the Greedy... Stash three cards under from under. These all just have their own little rules on the bottom. There's the Party Goblin. Looks like he's having fun. Then we have the Spooky Goblin, who's like a bat hanging upside down. That is a creepy looking goblin. The Thieving Goblin, who's running away with a couple fairies in his hands. The Robber Goblin, which is different than the Thieving Goblin, who has a sack of stuff. That reminds me of a Pathfinder Goblin. We have the Hunter Goblin with a net. Then we have the Doppel Goblin, which is two goblins, doing the uh, Wonder Twins Activate thing for people who are as old as I am. Then we have the Cheeky Goblin, running after a fairy. And then we repeat to the Greedy Goblin again. And that is it. There's what you get with a copy of Fairy Season. So this is a, uh, from what I understand, trick-taking card game. Plays two to, what was it? Two to five players? Sorry, my bad. Three to five players. Three to five players in about 20 minutes. I personally asked to, to review this because I think my kids are going to love it. Now, my kids are older, uh, 10 and 13. Uh, it does say ages 10 and up, so don't think this is a kid's game. So we're just going to pack everything up put it back in the box. And actually, before we go, I'll just show off. That is a significant chunk of cards. That is a that is more than a deck of cards. So we got we have a, a significant stack here. Note it does fit back in. Cards kind of are going to bang around, but they're not going to slide anywhere unusual this way. Box is a little larger than it needs to be. And there you have Fairy Season. So there you have what you get in the box for a copy of Fairy Season from Good Games Publishing. A uh, card game for three to five players, plays in 20 minutes, very cool fairy theme. Sorry, I had it sideways. Fairy Season. For additional videos, uh, for those of you who are watching on YouTube, before you go, be sure to hit the follow and subscribe. Sorry, hit the subscribe button, follow. If you're on Twitch, follow. And ding the bell so you get notifications when I do go live or when we post a new video on YouTube. You can find our content at tabletopbellhop.com. For those of you on YouTube, there'll be a nice little card button you can click here that'll give you a link to that. The other thing you'll find there is a link to our Patreon. If you appreciate this video, please consider supporting our efforts by tipping the bellhop at patreon.com slash tabletopbellhop. For the Tabletop Bellhop, I am Mo Tuzno. Good night and game on.